What's up, YouTube? A big program just dropped. You all are waiting for it. It's the May monthly awards program. We got Aaron Judge, 99 overall. Huge ass strike zone for a huge ass man. Uh, I personally like using him. If you're good with him, obviously you're going to use him. But let's just look at him, see what he's got. All right. So I said this before with the last monthly awards when Matt Chapman got his 99 overall lightning card. If you did not do the tops now for the month, this month it's May, so May Tops Now program. Uh, if you didn't even chip away at it, even a little bit, then you are far behind. I'll tell you how much far behind you are. You are behind 15 XP. So it may not seem like that much uh, in retrospect, but if you really want to get Aaron Judge, if you really want to get these lightning cards, it seems like you got to do everything that they throw at you here. Uh, and the reason I say it seems like it, because it's not actually that you have to do everything. There are repeatable missions. So you can get, if you play events a lot, and I personally don't think events have been worth it this year as far as the rewards. Uh, usually I like events because you get to pick your own team. I typically do very well in events. Uh, usually sometimes even go, uh, you know, on 10, 12 game winning streaks. doesn't mean anything compared to BR. BR, you know, you got to draft a team. Uh, it's much harder to get those wins in BR. So that's why those rewards are usually better than events. But if you do these events, you get one XP per win. So you can do that. If you already play events, then that's good for you. Stat missions. Now, obviously, the stat missions are going to be based off of the program itself. You're going to have to get these cards along the way. These programs are just a, such a grind. And, you know, you got to do, like I said, pretty much everything. This is what the program will look like if you complete a Tops Now program before you started this. All right. You get two 95 overall packs. And we'll take a look at those. And then you get two captains, and one of them's pretty damn good in Blake Trinan. Uh, the walks per nine's like, you know, okay. Control along with it doesn't make it that much better. But really great card for a 95 overall. Pitching clutch, 125. Velo, obviously 99, like it's always been. Break 99, he's got that great sinker. Only four pitch mix, sinker, slaughter, fastball, cutter. Hits per nine, 125. Ks per nine's great at 100. And then home runs per nine is 99. Definitely usable card. Definitely, definitely usable and would be good to use a captain boost with him. But oh my god, who would you have to use the captain boost with him? Someone from the A's. So not ideal. But Blake Shrinan, you'll probably see him in other people's bullpen to get these stat missions done. And because people just love using Blake Blake Trinan. Eddie Rosario, same thing. People like using him. They like his swing. They kind of didn't give him the power that people were hoping for. But 121 contacts, maxed out contact versus lefties, maxed out clutch. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, then you get these 95 overall packs. I'm probably just going to go with two pitchers, I don't know. Uh, but we'll take a look at these. Spencer Steer, I mean, like, you know, the 95 cards, they don't hang around for much. People just put them in their lineup for offline play, grinding, get these missions done, uh, like I said. So, you know, this card's whatever. This card, uh, you know, doesn't really have the velocity. The walks per nine is terrible, so there's really no use in this card. Pretty much unusable after you get him done with through the missions, even though he's got maxed out clutch and hits per nine. All right, Owen Miller, uh, still not great. I will not. I'll, I just won't be using this card that much uh, past the mission completion or at all. Michael Waka, a little bit better, but still, K's per nine is terrible on this one. So even though he's got good walks per nine. Hits per nine, clutch is great. It's you know they always make these cards. There's always something about them that makes them a little unusable. All right, Christopher Morell, who had a great month, uh, definitely deserved a card. He's got 125 power versus righties, which is pretty crazy. And Tanner Scott, he's got 90 line velo, great break at 95. Walks per nine is terrible. Control is terrible. Everything else looks great. Actually, home runs per nine is not that great at 85, but hits per nine is 119. That's amazing. Um, you can almost max that out at P5, and then K per 9 is 117, also amazing. And then Clutch, you can max it out at Parallel 3. All right. So, I'll probably just get two pitchers to get the XP going along faster. Here are the missions. You can take a look at them. Here are the moments. A lot of moments. It either is more moments than the last one, or it just feels like it. I haven't taken a direct look, but there's a lot of moments to get done here. So, start chipping away at them. With moments, like, I used to go in and do the easy ones, come back to the harder ones or the longer ones, which are usually the pitching ones where you got to do five innings. Now I just sit down and do them in order so I don't have to like go through and wonder which ones I got done. 
uh go through i like to just start from the top go straight down and then like if i get like five done in a row i'll back out and do something else if i if i don't feel like doing them anymore <laughs> okay but like i said collection may tops now i just i just entered the completion there so it gave me the 15 xp see what that looks like and then you can also exchange set one players this is new all right they didn't let you do this before but i don't recommend it i would just sell these guys like walter johnson i could sell him for a pretty penny considering he's a set one card or i can get to a uh, hundred thousand xp towards the program or sorry towards this exchange which requires five hundred thousand so if i had five of these cards like this that have an exchange value of a hundred thousand um i could get this completion done and the exchange would give me i believe 10 xp let's see 15 if you want to do that you can i don't recommend it if you have set one if you have extra set one cards in here I would just go through your inventory and sell them. Uh, you'll get more use out of the stubs than you will out of this exchange because you can get the program done without doing that exchange. Like it says, optional. But the May tops now will give you a good head start by giving you two captains, two ninety-five overall cards. All right. Let's take a look at Judge. Uh, this this card's amazing. I mean, max out power. Uh, contacts are both over one hundred, and then I'm sure if you have some sort of Yankee captain boost, you can give him. Uh, a lot more of all this. Vision's dog shit. 54. He's never had good vision. I don't know why. It seems like in real life he should. They should give him better vision in the game for what he does in real life. But I don't know. Um, he hit 342 in the month of May. Didn't know that. You'd think if someone's hitting that well, they'd have better vision at the plate. So they'd give it to him in the game. But that's just based off of previous you know, historical data on Aaron Judge in this game and the card he's gotten. He's never had good vision. And for those of you who don't know or haven't used him, his strike zone is like this big. It's like it fills up your entire screen if you're using the strike zone hitting view. And any other hitting view, it's just you could see how much bigger that strike zone box is. So no, pitches that you normally take for balls that are end up close to the zone but end up being a ball uh, will probably be a strike with Aaron Judge, at least high to low. So get ready for that if you're going to use him. But I like him. Good against righties um, and obviously great against lefties. So... Durability, uh, sorry, fielding 92, arm strength 99, and arm accuracy accuracy 99. So that's really helpful. Okay, and then you can play left and center. Let's go through some of these other cards. You know Freddie Freeman. You know people are going to use this card probably for a good amount of time. I mean, he's got a great... People love using him for a swing. Uh, he's really good against lefties. And that gives that gives everyone a huge advantage who doesn't really do well in lefty and lefty matchups. So you can put him in and leave him in with lefties on the mound. He's got maxed out contact, maxed out clutch. That'll help with runners on base. Uh, fielding's okay. I mean, he's playing first base. Doesn't really matter that much. But for a first base, the fielding's actually pretty good. And then vision, um, 88, like, that's okay. I, I really don't get it. I really would think a guy who's hitting 400 in a month would have probably like 110 vision minimum but uh i don't really know what that's based off of uh on what they attribute that to based on the month they had um i know freddie freeman usually puts together good at bat so evan phillips this is another card you're going to see in people's bullpen probably for a good bit during the game this is a great card so i'm going to try to get at this card into my bullpen there's a reason it's so far along in the program it's one of the later ones you really got to grind for it but he has maxed out pl uh pitching clutch Hits per nine, and then really good case per nine, really good walks per nine. And if you have Dodgers captain boost with a pitcher, you could probably get that walks per nine uh, damn near close to like 115 or 120. Control is also great. Velo 99, break 99. This card is going to be pretty damn hard to face too. Slurve cutter, fastball sinker. It would be nice if he had like a changeup or something, but the cutter sinker combo is great. And then throwing in a slurve in there too. You throw that like to a righty across the middle of the zone and have it break away towards the end. You know they're gonna think that's either sinker or something hard up uh, in the middle of the zone. So you could really use that to your advantage. That's the velocity, his control, his slurve is his best pitch in terms of control. So you can probably pinpoint that pretty well. Um, this card's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for it. I can't wait to get it. So Wander Franco. Same thing. People like using him. He doesn't really have the pop that we wish he did. He had great pop in MLB The Show 21. That was when he was a prospect. So they gave him a pretty generous card in that game ever since he hasn't had the power. But still, good 
switch hitter, using from both sides of the plate. Uh, great contact. Um, the vision, I thought, again, I thought the vision would be higher for this one, but he only hit 296. Only two home runs, 12 RBIs, and he can play second, third, and shortstop with great fielding. Arm strength's okay. Arm accuracy is good enough. And he can steal you a couple bags, too. 88 speed, 99 stealing, and 99 base running aggressiveness. All right, And then his clutch is 107, so that's good for runners in scoring position. Mitch Keller. Um, this card's not bad either. I mean, I always look at the walks per nine first since pitching this year is so much harder. Uh, th- th- those pars, that faded zone outside the ball where you put it in the zone, you know, it could end up anywhere on the edge of that, outside or inside. So you really got to focus on pitchers with good walks per nine. And of course, the other stats. I mean, you, you can't disregard hits per nine or strikeouts per nine and home runs per nine. You can't, those are like the four most important in my opinion. Um, and then I always look for a VLO next. So when you're playing on Hall of Fame legend, uh, you got to make sure you get guys with good VLO too. But break VLO 99 uh, overall for both of those. And this card could make it into people's rotation too if they don't have any good set two pitching cards. So that's a great card for set two. All right. Good control on the fastball cutter and sinker. And then we got one of my favorite, one of my one of my more favorite cards. They changed this swing from last year. Uh, I actually I liked it last year. I like it even more this year. Luis Robert Jr. He's been doing great. He had three ten in the month of May with eight home runs, seventeen RBIs. Fielding's ninety nine. Uh, he takes his fielding very seriously in real life, so it's good they gave him that. Speed eighty four. You can probably steal with him, even though he's got fifty eight steal. Uh, I think it's good enough for like all star and below. Contact 125, 111 power, or sorry, contact is 92 and 125. He's great against lefties. He's got 101 power against lefties, 111 against righties. Clutch is 105. I think that's good enough. So for that being the first 98 card that you earn in that is pretty good. And let's take a look at the 97 packs. I like this card a lot. Framber Valdez, uh, he tore it up in the World Series last year, uh, and he's still tearing it up. He hasn't stopped. He's 3-1 in May, 218 ERA and a whip of 0.91, 99 velo, 99 break, um, and then the walks per nine and control, very high. 92 walks per nine, 89 control. Clutch is 116, that's great. All of the the walks per nine, home run per nine, K per nine, hit per nine are all above 90, um, or you can get all above 90 with parallel one, and then stamina, 109. This card is going to be, I think this card is going to stay in a lot of people's rotation if it plays out well. Sometimes these cards that look really, really good. People just uh, either, you know, find a way to get on them and figure them out early. Like, I think Bob Gibson's kind of toast now. Uh, I think people have kind of figured him out. Cards like this could end up like that, but I really think this card's going to be here to stick around for a while. Sinker, curveball, cutter, circle change, fastball. That's like an ideal pitch mix to me if he's got the type of velo and control and walks per nine that he does. He's going to be very hard to hit off of, and... I really like that card. People love Will Smith, so they, they really, SDS really went for the people pleasers here, but these guys also had great months. 318, five home runs, 17 RBIs. Uh, he's got one, 16 contact against lefties, 98 contact against righties. A lot of people like his stance and swing. I can never get it down. I, I like Will Smith. I like watching him play. I just can't get a swing down. It's, it's something about a stance. I don't know if slings too, swing is too slow. It seems fine. I just, I don't do well with him. I don't know. People are going to use him though. Power, 86, 103, so he's got better against lefties there. Clutch is 108, uh, vision's good at 94. And then fielding, not the best fielding catcher in the game right now, um, but it's good enough if you want to use Will Smith. All right. They seem to knock down a speed a little bit. I don't know what, what they base that off of. They were just watching him. There's probably some sort of metric out there on, like, you know, on the, there's there's people doing all sorts of crazy stats nowadays so i don't know what they base it off of he maybe he did lose a step but he uh was definitely faster in previous games speeds of up to like you know 85 to almost 90 and now he's got 67 speed he can't steal for shit and base running aggressivist is only 21 so maybe he's uh maybe he's settling down a little bit and he could play uh third third base secondary position so that's also great Felix Bautista, he had a really good card last year. I believe he had a finest card. Um, walks per nine is not great. K 
Controls 85 though, that's that's good, but the walks per nine um, kind of makes that irrelevant. All right, he's only got three pitches, fastball, splitter, slider. Uh, I compare him to uh, Juan Duran, the Twins closing pitcher or a relief pitcher, and in that, yeah, he's got really hard fastballs um, and sliders, but the splitter, the difference in the splitter and the fastball only being from like on Joan Duran, it's like from 102 to 94, less than 10 miles per hour. On this guy, it is 10 miles per hour. I, I think it's it's really not that hard to adjust if you're playing on anything less than legend. Uh, so I don't really like these types of pitch mixes, but pitch mixes, he's got hits per nine maxed out, K per nine net maxed out, home run per nine at 88, and then pitching clutch it maxed out. So I don't know. I, I can't really tell you how that card's going to play now. But it'll be in people's bullpen definitely more, a little bit longer than just getting the missions done. I think people like using Felix Bautista. Uh, Lourdes Gurriel, great month. 352, 8 home runs, 18 RBIs. Let's see what he looks like. He's got almost maxed out contact. Uh, it is maxed out against lefties, 110 against righties. No power against lefties. And then, I shouldn't say no power, but 71 is not going to get you that far in uh, the higher difficulties. And then 109 power against righties. All right, pit, clutch is 125. That's awesome. Uh, he can play first, second, short, right, and left field. So that's it's pretty interesting. He can play three infield positions and two outfield positions. You would think if he could play that many positions, he'd be able to play all the outfield positions. Anyway, Nathan Avaldi, uh, he's been doing great things this year. He was 4-0 in May, 0.96 um, ERA, and then a whip of 0.85. Just on those stats alone, I think he would be able to get a 98 card, but he doesn't. He's included in the 97 pack, so this was a close one for them, I guess, to uh, to judge. But 116 stamina, 112 hits per nine, are great. K's, K per nine is pretty low. And then walks per nine is really good at 91. Hit Home runs per nine, 92. Pitching clutch, 125. And control, 87. So you will be able to dot with him, I think. Um, Velo 86, that's okay, and break 99, that's good. And then Riley Green, I know some people like his swing, so he might be pretty usable as well. Uh, he's maxed out on contact, and then almost you can max, max him out on clutch uh, at 118 if you parallel him. So discipline's 101, doesn't really matter, but the vision 82. Power, yeah, he's better against righties like most lefties are. Um, and then fielding is pretty damn good too, all the off-field positions, and he's got 88 speed. All right, so that's the 97 pack. Uh, already showed you the 95, but yeah, try to get this done. Um, even if you don't want to use Aaron Judge, I always think it's really important to to get all of these um, monthly award and tops now programs done, even though they are a grind. I I think they're way more valuable than the Team Affinity of this year. Uh, Team Affinity has been a lot better in previous years. You used to get some really good cards. Uh, they might. They might give us better cards than the next Team Affinity and Team Affinity Seasons 4 and maybe Season 5 if they have one of those. Um, but, like I said, I, I think this year these are more valuable. All right, You get a lot of set 2 cards that you can't sell, so you might as well collect them towards set 2. There's still plenty of time to use set 2 cards. You can use set 2 cards all of, during all of uh, season three, right? So we're in season two right now. Once season three starts, set one cards won't be usable except for your wild card. Uh, you get to use one wild card throughout the whole year, which is a card from any season or any set that you want to use. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to use set two and set three cards in season three, which comes July 7th, I believe. Uh, let me just show you and check up on that real quick so I can tell you. Uh, so in case you don't know, you can go to the top right here where I am, where my little face is, and scroll over to the right. How does how do sets work? Uh, it should tell you the dates. It shows you how many collected in each program. Uh, bu -bu -bu. You get a head start each time the season starts towards XP and stubs. All right, so yeah, season two will end July 7th, and then that's the same day season three will start. So as of right now, we can use core cards, set one cards, and set two cards. So pretty much any every set of cards that has come out so far, we can still use until July 7th. All right. Once July 7th rolls around, set one cards 
uh, will not be able to be used. So you'll probably still see them on your screen. You can still see them, um, you know, in the game. But if you try to build a team with it, I'm assuming it will kick you out or kick that card out. Uh, so you can only use set two and set three. That's why they gave you an option this year to, uh, oh, and core cards. So they give you an option this year to set your team or let the computer set your team um, based on the requirements. So generate best season two squad is the first button there. I'll move myself out of the way so you can see it. If you click that, it'll it should accumulate what the computer thinks are the best overall cards or the best cards you can use for that squad in that season, considering all of the sets and requirements for that season. So it'll keep in core set one, set two for this this particular button. Um, I'm not going to do that, but that's what you can do if you're struggling to build a team in season three and you can't figure out what cards are uh, allowed to be put in there or what cards are worthy of being put in there. And you can you can start with that, and then you can of course move around cards. Uh, sometimes I do that. I generate the best squad with a computer, and then move cards out for preference and uh, whatever I disagree with the computer doing. So, so that's it. Um, monthly awards, guys, get cracking at it. Um, if you don't want to do it, I think you're missing out. Uh, if you're not done Team Affinity, I I have no focus on Team Affinity right now. Um, I really don't care about it this year or at least right now season two season one and season two have not impressed me so um they're definitely good for getting the cards towards the set collections in order to get you know david wright hammer and hank and the big unit but i don't really care about this program so hopefully like i said we get a better season affinity next season which should roll around um july 7th or during that week or the next week after that i hope you enjoyed the video uh I'll be dropping some debut videos once I get some more set two cards and keep on the lookout for any updates. All right. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you have anything to add to this, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.